Hey everybody, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. I have a plan with me on a budget for the week of November 5th. And as you can see, I have a lot of different <laughs> stickers on my planner right now. Um, so I'm going to show you kind of what I'm thinking about. So these are leftovers from a Glam Planner kit last year. This was a mystery subscription kit. I loved it. I thought it was really pretty. And I used it kind of around the same time. Um, maybe like the week of Thanksgiving or the week before Thanksgiving or something. Um, but those are what I have left over. So I have three of those full boxes plus two double box girls. And then I have these from Poppy Willow Co. that have a little bit of foil on them. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use these or not, but because they were kind of fall colors, I brought them out. And then last... Black Friday, well, I know this is from Black Friday last year. Um, Scribble Prince Co. has really amazing, like, grab bags and bundles and kits and things. Um, and these are all sheets that I got separately in um, one of one or two of the grab bags that I got. And I think this was from Kirsten's wedding kit or something. But some of the colors go. This kind of bright pink doesn't really go, but a lot of the other colors do. So if I need to pull in um stickers I have them I'm not exactly sure if these are from the same kit or not these glitter ones but I have them and they're kind of in the same range and then this was like a color club or something I don't remember how I got this if it was on a sale or something because I don't subscribe um but these are the it was like an autumn or fall color club or something like that. So there's headers and all sorts of functional stuff. Again, the blue doesn't necessarily go, um, but some of the other colors do. So these are full boxes, which I might use to fill in some of the lacking full boxes from this kit. Because I don't know if I want three girls that look like exactly the same. You know, like they all have the same look um, on their face and they're all facing the same way and everything. Um, so... I'm not sure about that, so I might pull in some of this stuff. Um, you can see, like, the this is a neutral, and then these are just sort of green and um, that maroon color. So I'll probably pull in some of that. So it's just going to sort of be a bit of a mishmash today, which is totally fine by me. Um, I think it's going to be really fun. So we're just going to get started. Um, I don't have a ton of plans this week, but I definitely have some. I think I might use her... I think I'm going to use the redhead. She looks very autumn <laughs> to me, if that is even a thing. Um, but I'm going to use her on the sidebar so that it doesn't kind of disrupt the layout. But I still get to use her. And then I think I'll use the smaller one on... Um, what day is this? Thursday? Just for some variety. And then I have two more of these actual full boxes. So I think I'll do Tuesday, Saturday, and then fill in with other stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna use this one over here. I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbors yelling. They are apparently arguing outside for everybody to hear. <laughs> Um, okay, so there are the full boxes, and then I have checklists here, and I have full heart boxes, I have these checklists, and then I have these and these, <laughs> which is insane. So many stickers. Um, let's see. I don't have headers for these ones. And maybe maybe I can bring in that lighter pink. It is in here a little bit. So maybe I'll use these. I think I'm going to use these and then I have um, these as well. But you can see like, I mean, I guess the lighter pink but this doesn't have the cream, so I don't think these actually are from the same kit. I really, I don't know what these are from, but we're going to use this stuff. So, let's see here. Um, now I kind of want to switch these two. I don't know, guys. 
because I kind of like the maroon with both of them. Otherwise she's going to be like light green. Okay, I don't exactly know what I just did on Wednesday because <laughs> I didn't have enough of any one washi to like make a full box, but I think it looks kind of cool to be honest. So we're going to roll with it um, and, and that's just what it's going to be. So yeah, um, I'm going to put this glitter header over here on the sidebar, even though she doesn't have any light green. That's what I used on Thursday. And that one didn't have any light green either, so we're just rolling with it. We're going to have lots of shades of green and maroon and things like that. But I think, like I said, I think it's going to work out in the end because the green in the kit is sort of between these two greens anyways. So we're just kind of removing a lot of the orange um, and adding in more green and pink. So it's just going to be a little bit different, which is totally fine. Um, 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 so I don't know what I have left. I probably don't have any habit trackers left from the kit, but I want to use this box and then I have this, um, habit tracker. And then let's see, I have ones here as well as in the other stuff as well as these. So I'm thinking I might take the cream colored ones to bring in more of that. So we'll put cream, cream. There's gonna be so much glitter. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit both of these things. I definitely am not. So let's see, I have TV little things, and then, I don't know, I can mark dinners a different way. So I think I'll use this. Guys, I'm getting everything mixed up. And I'm going to use another glitter header to separate... And then we'll use this full box. This was from the original Glam Planner kit. Um, and I use them in the check, like in the boxes, because they're my favorite. <laughs> I love her. I love her heart checklists. They're always so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put that little glitter header at the bottom and then... Let's see what can go in the middle. Let's see. We have a little three heart. Oh, although this is already a checklist. I don't know that I want another checklist. Um, I might just leave it for now. We're just going to roll with it for now. So let me move away things that I'm done with. 
because I'm confused, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and then let's see, like I said, I have TV little things. somewhere that I can use for my filming schedule. I don't think, well, I know I'm not going to have a video every day, but um, I will have some. So Monday we'll have a video. Wednesday we'll have a video. Like I said, I don't exactly know what's going on with the setup of Wednesday, but it's all good. Friday will be filming. Saturday will be editing, uploading, that kind of thing. And then Sunday will be, oh, I have these two next to each other too. But I guess that's okay because that's the weekend. And that way I can put in a weekend banner a little bit easier. So there are those. Um, I have a Hungry Root delivery on Thursday, so let's put that in. And then I think that's it for those sort of things. Okay, I am back, and I think I'm ready to go day by day, if I'm not mistaken. I did add one more thing off camera. I put in another green glitter header, and then just put a half box on here. This half box matches with the washi that I put on Sunday to make a full box, so... It's just kind of, you know, start and end of the spread. So Monday, I don't know anything except for I should have a B6 plan with me up that day. Tuesday is election day, so I definitely want to mark that somehow. And let's see, this is kind of a pink day. Um, I mean, I have a flag. I have glitter flags, a glitter quarter box. Um... I think I'll take a glitter flag here and then we can write election day. Whoa. I think I'm going so straight and then I move my fingers and I'm like, what in the world, Laura? That wasn't straight at all. <laughs> so there's election day. Um... I think I did this in my other plan with me too. I think I put a star. So we'll put a little star right there and we'll write election day there. Um, other than that, I've already voted, but I still want to mark it. <laughs> um, other than that, I don't know anything for Tuesday. On Wednesday, I have Pilates. So I will put that down here and we're using that maroon color. I think I'm going to actually, I might put it up at the top. Maybe I'll fill in that space and I'll use a little quarter box. Like I said, Wednesday's just sort of rocking its own, its own vibe today. <laughs> I don't exactly know what's going on. Um, so that is Pilates and what am I looking for? Icons. Do I have any sort of icon? Um, nothing's really like jumping out at me and I'm okay with that. I don't really need... A Pilates icon or like a workout icon I should say um, and then I should have a video that day that's already on there Thursday I have my hungry root delivery and then I think we're supposed to have a training possibly that day so I might throw in um, something to mark that I'm not sure what Maybe an appointment label. Kind of a boring thing to mark, but necessary if it actually happens. If it doesn't happen, then I can either remove that or I can put something else there. But my boss is going to a training, so then we will probably have a training. <laughs> um, Friday, I don't know anything except for filming, which is already up here. So I don't need to mark anything there. And then... Saturday, my boyfriend is flying to Massachusetts, so I want to mark that. Um, maybe another pink flag? Maybe, maybe. 
I don't know if I have anything fun here. Let's see, what do I have? I've got the the watch that day. Um, oh, I have a pink weekend banner. That might be cute. I don't know what these are. Like, just stacks of pretty things, but I don't I don't know what they're supposed to be. <laughs> um, all right, I think I'm just gonna use the pink flag here. Hopefully straight. And then there is a plain icon on that sheet. So I will mark his flight to Massachusetts. And then on Sunday, I have Pilates. So I will use, oh, of course I used the one that was already the same color. Um, I could use the appointment label or I could use something from the sheet where this stuff came from, I suppose. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll take a glitter flag here and that way these are sort of the same. And then I can put in my weekend banner. Maybe, maybe. There's a light green weekend banner. I think I'm going to use the pink one, though, although this is on matte paper. Nope, I think I'm going to use the glitter. And we'll just stick it at the bottom here. I don't have any, like small deco but I think I can fit this girl oh I should have used the darker girl on the other day because this is the redhead girl oh well all right we'll stick her in there just for fun <laughs> um but see this is the washi I was talking about her washi isn't seamless but I'm like it's close enough and then I do have this house um which I think I might put over here it sort of looks my, like my boyfriend's house. So we'll put it by where he's going to his house in Massachusetts. So, yeah. <laughs> um, what else do I need? I don't know that I need to mark anything else. Oh, I have a bill on Sunday. Oops. I didn't really plan for that very well, did I? <laughs> I can always put something over the full box though because that's just a pattern so I'm just looking for something that would resemble a bill do um maybe this cream colored one or maybe I have one in because this is actually where I got all the cream stickers from wait no no bill do's I mean, I have like a money little thing, but that would just be kind of weird. I have so many habit trackers, but no bill dues. Okay, we're going to steal this cream color bill due. It's not far off in color. And then I'm going to stick it kind of right here because the washi didn't quite line up like to fill the space right below there. So we'll put the bill due up there and that way I don't have to try to fit it in at the bottom. So I thought I was going to be using way more of this kit and I didn't which is kind of funny <laughs> but that's just how it goes sometimes and that's okay um and I also don't know what I'm doing for washi yet um so I think I'm gonna have to go off camera and figure that out because obviously I don't have um bottom washi in the kit so I think I will go off camera and be back. I'm having, I have a feeling I'm going to use some of the pink because I really like the pink and I want to bring in more of it because there's so much green. So maybe the pink and the maroon at the bottom, there's like a tiny bit of that orangey color. There's like the border, the flower and the watch, but um, I feel like that just gets chalked up to like gold. <laughs> so maybe I'll find maroon or pink with gold 
or maybe both down at the bottom and it will probably be simply gilded washi which is not the most affordable thing but you know sometimes you just go with what you have so that's mostly what I have and that's what I'm gonna use so I will be back to show you what I come up with Okay, so here is what I chose for the bottom washi. I use the Simply Gilded Pink um, with gold bow. It might be a champagne bow, I'm not exactly sure. And then the maroon or burgundy, I don't know which color, I think burgundy, uh, vine washi with rose gold foil. I'm okay with mixing the metals of the foils because it's so small and subtle. Um, but this is what it looks like, and I think it's really, really pretty. Um... Yeah, I, I am funny though because I took the time to white out this line, but then I didn't realize the washi was going to go above that line. So this line shows because I thought that one was going to line up right there, but <laughs> it didn't work out that way. But I'm not going to lift the washi because it will lift the other white out. So we're just going with it with a line through the middle and it will be okay. <laughs> I'm sorry if it bothers you. Um, I do want to take a little bit of the deco from um, maybe one or both of these sheets. We have some florals and then we have some pumpkins and things. So some of this looks very spring, uh, but then we have like the pumpkins. So I want to grab those, maybe this flower, maybe the books, the teapot. I don't know. We're just going to go with it. So I don't have date covers, so I'm going to liberally place some of this deco up at the top. Um, I mean, I guess I can use a little teapot. I'm actually going to use the books on Friday, but not as deco as like to mark reading. Um, so I need to grab, grab something for that. Um, I think I'll use the glitter quarter box and stick that kind of towards the bottom. Just eyeball it because I do read with my students on Fridays. I don't read to them, I just read with them. They have sustained silent reading, so I also read. <laughs> um, and then we have some of these really pretty florals with a little bit more of the yellow in here. So I'm just sort of going to put those in and they have foil some of them the bottom ones have foil the top ones don't but just for some additional little color I don't know that I have room for any of this stuff what am I doing I think I'll put this kind of in this box here I wish it curved a little bit more to kind of like fit but we'll just layer it over the corner um maybe the red one in the top corner. These are a Misfit Bundle, by the way, by Poppy Willow Co. I'm not sure I even mentioned that, <laughs> so I'm sorry if I didn't. I think we'll stick that in there. That's a little busy. Um, oh, we have a little bit more of this really delicate deco because I put one leaf right here, but I feel like it looks a little empty on the other side, so we'll stick something there. A little something on Thursday and then maybe one more thing for Wednesday I have a lot of like neutrals over there so we'll put some more red and something for over here by Sunday maybe this like orange oops I hit my camera this orange flower having deco for the top part um, really adds a lot especially if you don't have date covers whoo Plus it added more foil, which is really fun. And like I said, this was a like misfit bundle. So, um, you know, it was really affordable. You guys, there's like really pretty stuff everywhere. I don't know what to do with it all. <laughs> and then this flower, I think I'm going to stick in this corner. Again, just sort of balancing it out in there. Again, I don't know what these are. They kind of look like cakes. They kind of just look like blobs. They kind of look like macarons. I don't know. And I don't know what the kit was that this was from where it might like give me some clue. <laughs> but yes, so I like that that brought in a little bit more of that really goldish yellow color, um, but not like an overwhelming amount. It just toned it down a little. I like that I brought in more pink and maroon at the bottom because I was starting to feel very, very green, which isn't really what I was going for. I was going for more of the maroon color, um, but somehow that sort of... <laughs> got lost in the mix but this is really pretty the full boxes were glam planner uh, most of the other stuff was scribble prince co um, a few of the pieces were from 
the original Glam Planner kit, but a lot of it was Scribble Prints Co. And then the deco was Poppy Willow Co. So let me know if you guys liked this little mashup. And again, Scribble Prints Co. Black Friday. Around that time, you guys be on the lookout. There were some really, really good deals last year. And I got a lot of like amazing stickers and a lot of color, colorful things and functional stuff for super, super cheap, as well as mystery kits. Like you don't know what you're getting. So oh, definitely going to be shopping her sale again if I have money left by the time that rolls around. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this mashup spread. Let me know what you guys think. Um, do you like the addition of the pink? Let me know that for sure. I really, really like it. I think it worked out really well. I was not planning on that whatsoever. So that was fun. All right. I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.